New at 6, on board a community in Boston. People who've decided to live on a boat instead of paying the high cost of housing. But in the name of comfort, what do they do in the wintertime? WBZ's Mike Sullivan visited a marina in Charlestown to see the conditions firsthand. Two by two, row by row, the rain falling pitter patter on the plastic. There's something visually poetic about life on a wintry vessel. This is living the life, really. You just have to not have 30 pairs of shoes. You will often find Larry Anderson buried in cables, his eyes affixed to a screen. I rent year round here. It's been my eighth year here. He's a video editor by trade, a liveaboard by lifestyle. I changed my Instagram to Larry Lives on a Boat. <laughs> and uh, I think it's more popular just for that. His boat is docked at Constitution Marina in Charlestown, along with roughly 50 others. This has to be a really close-knit, like, quirky community, I have to assume. Yes, you can assume that. The neighbors call out to each other by name. They even share cold nights at a nearby hotel pool. Every Friday night, they turn it up to hot tub level, and everybody strolls over there with, with beer and wine and whatever, and it's sort of lying in the outside of the pool. They are tied together socially as much as they are physically. In the winter, the marina strings the boats together for safety. Uh, I'm plugged into shore power. There's a great big orangey, yellowy cable there. A unit in the corner provides his high-speed Wi-Fi. Everyone assumes that I'm freezing, and, and it really is. It's just a couple space heaters. Outside, the snow continues to pile up. As he clears his dock, you may notice a sea of plastic bubbles surrounding him. One of the most satisfying things with the shrink wrap is when it gets covered in snow or ice. The bubbles create a greenhouse effect. In the sun, it can stay 70 degrees on the deck. It's really fun putting this up. He does it all himself to save a buck. Financial freedom is a key reason for this lifestyle, amongst others. Uh, honestly, it was coming out of a divorce, which is, which is a common time <laughs> that people uh, wind up on boats. Renters here pay by the foot. At 37 feet, a spot costs on average $1,000 a month, even comes with a parking space. This is actually a friend of mine, Isaac, who lives here at the marina also. And that's his, his souped-up dinghy that he has, and, and he actually commutes to East Boston. It's a cheap way to live, as long as you can minimize life itself. When I first moved on here, I got a ukulele, and I was like, that's as big an instrument as I can have on a boat. He has since graduated to a guitar. I have two closets, basically, that are both about this wide, and one holds all the shirts that I ever wear for a season. Everybody feels sorry for me, which is ridiculous, because, you know, I'm living in Charlestown. I got my winter hot tub. I got my summer pool. I've got my Boston parking. What more could a Bostonian ask for? In Charlestown, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. It takes a certain person to live that way, I think, and uh, he really made me laugh when he said everyone feels bad for me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he's connected, though, to all his boat yeah. neighbors and their Friday nights sound really lovely. $1,000 a month. That's, That's right. pretty, pretty good, good in Boston. Deal.